Hello everyone, I'm Rudrash Kapra, final year CS and DevCard from Pune, India. Currently, I'm contributing to the Google Summer of Code 2024 at OpenSUSE and working on Edge Analytics ecosystem project. Back in 2023, I had opportunity to participate as a season of KDE mentee to make KDE apps ecosystemable. I'm passionate to work with the exciting integration of cloud native technologies with machine learning. Through my work with the Edge Analytics Edge ecosystem project, by Open Suza and Rancher together. I have worked on building ML solutions at the edge. Thank you all for joining me today. Let's now explore the fascinating world of generative AI with Kubernetes orchestration. Imagine a world where computers understand and speak human language, just like us. This breakthrough is powered by large language models, LLMs, such as Llama, Mistral, and others from open source community, as well as infamous GPT by OpenAI. Also, in addition to that, there exists some small language models recently, like Pi series from Microsoft. These models aren't just the tools. They are game changers that can be deployed right at the edge of networks, bringing intelligence closer to where it's needed the most. LLMs like these can read, summarize, translate, and create content with human-like fluency. They are transforming industries in retail, powering chatbots for instant customer service, in healthcare, aiding faster diagnosis by analyzing vast amount of medical data, and in finance, predicting market trends and guiding investment decisions. However, using LLMs online raises privacy concerns, especially in fields like healthcare and finance. To address this, businesses are exploring in-house solutions and leveraging open source models that can be fine-tuned and deployed on local hardware. This not only enhances the data security, but also reduces reliance on external services. Edge computing is redefining how we process data by enabling real-time insights and enhanced privacy right at the source. It empowers businesses to analyze data locally, accelerating decision-making and improving operational efficiency. This approach ensures flexibility and control over data processing infrastructure and independent of traditional cloud services. With edge computing, organizations can deploy AI and machine learning models directly where data is generated, from optimizing industrial operations to enhancing customer experiences in retail. This decentralization approach not only reduces latency but also improves data security, making it ideal for sensitive industries like healthcare and finance. Edge computing represents the future of AI, unlocking new possibilities for innovation and efficiency. It is supposed to transform by delivering actionable insights faster and more securely than ever before. Generally, the privacy risks and high costs associated with the online LLM providers and in-house setups are major challenges for industries today. Edge computing offers a solution by processing data locally, enhancing privacy and enabling cost-efficient deployment of LLMs. This approach ensures independence, adaptability, and low latency inferencing, driving profitability and data security for businesses. Retrieval augmentation generation, popularly known as RAC, introduced by Facebook researchers in 2020, represents a significant advancement in AI capabilities by integrating sophisticated semantic search and embeddings. RAC combines the strengths of retrieval best methods which fetch relevant documents from a vast corpus with generation-based models. This integration allows AI to refine responses by incorporating real-time data insights, ensuring accuracy and contextual relevance. In practical terms, RAG enhances AI applications across sectors by leveraging semantic understanding and embeddings. LLM optimization techniques. The discussion between RAG versus fine-tuning is a very interesting topic and many folks are interested about this. So when to use RAG and when fine tuning? A RAG retrieval augmentation generation is certainly ideal for applications that need to fetch and incorporate the latest data, such as news aggregator or live event updates. In RAG, we usually see the dynamic content generation, perfect for chatbots and virtual assistants that require contextually relevant responses based on a wide range of documents. RAG can help provide personalized recommendations, generally useful in e-commerce platforms and also in media platforms. It provides a tailored suggestions based on user queries and current trends. When it comes to fine tuning, it is used in domain-specific tasks, best for applications that need specialized knowledge, such as legal document analysis or medical diagnostics. Fine-tuning is consistent with its performance and suitable for tasks requiring high accuracy 
and consistency such as customer support system. And fine tuning is ideal for projects that need model to be tailored for specific data sets like sentiment analysis for a particular industry or custom NLP tasks. Eventually choosing between RAG and fine tuning depends on your application. Use RAG for dynamic real-time response and fine tuning for specialized assistant performance in your application. In this project, we are leveraging the power of open source large language models and integrating them with the pretty well augmentation generation pipeline to transform data from various business verticals. Like first of all, we start with the data collection. We collect raw file formats such as PDF, CSVs, markdown files, and PowerPoints. These files are passed through parsers using line chain data loaders. And next to that, we perform ETL extract transform load process. The data is then transformed and cleaned normalized and loaded into database or data store. In our case, we are using VectorDB. Next to that, we perform text splitting. We break down the text into small segments called chunks to fit them into embedding models. Chunks are converted into vector representations that capture their semantic meaning. Then further down the line, embeddings are stored into ChromaDB as a vector database and ranked. Using semantic search, we query these embeddings to provide accurate answers to user questions. All these states are integrated into an API service that interacts with the user interface at the edge. So let's see how the workflow is working. So we are using Kubeflow pipelines for orchestration, MLflow for experiment tracking, and SendML for managing rack pipelines. The project is split into two microservices, one for API backend and one for the user interface. These Docker containers are deployed on K3S, RK, RK2 clusters manage centrally branch orchestration. This workflow ensures efficient data processing in real time, providing insights and seamless user interaction. As mentioned in the previous workflow, I have deployed my pipeline on rancher management. And here you can see my deployments. In this demo, I'm using my personal invoice of my mouse. It contains some personal data like my home address, some financial details and stuff. So which I don't really want to expose to online LLM providers. So this is running completely locally. So I'm asking the price of the mouse here. So you can see it has given me the price. Nice. So next to that, I'm asking about the city I live because it contains my personal address, right? So here is the answer. I live in Pune, correct? So now I'm asking from where the mouse is being shipped, from which city it is being shipped actually. So it's correct, it's from Mumbai. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching up to the very end. Let's connect on socials. And if you have any questions about this entire process and how the demo works and everything, I'll be available on upcoming open source community meeting which is happening on Tuesday, 2nd of July. Please feel free to join there.